It would seem so, we looked at the microbiome of a professional rugby team and compared them to people in the general society, we found that they had different types of microbes and also a richer diversity of microbes. And a rich diversity is good because it makes your microbiota more resilient and gives you a greater capacity for your microbes to do different things. Exercise has a lot of effects on our physiology in general anyway. It affects our immune system, it has anti-inflammatory effects specifically, it also affects our gut permeability, um, and lots of our, our transit time, so how quickly our food um, moves through our gut. And so all of those are factors which are known to impact on the microbiota. Think other than diet, in terms of our general health, exercise is the other main thing that we can do that can dramatically impact on health. And as I say, it's not so surprising that it impacts on the microbiome as well. We're trying to tease the part by looking at different groups of athletes, we were able to look at different potential relationships between the microbiomes in different sports. And so we didn't see a sport-specific microbiome, but what we did see is when we put the sports into different categories, we do see microbiome-specific signatures related to each that there is um, different effects depending on the type of sport and the different type of exercise that you're doing. Resistance versus cardiovascular. Exercise, increasing your fitness is beneficial regardless of your time of life. We are hoping to do is to look at some athletes who are very early in their career that have already been identified as potential elite athletes in the future. And by studying them early in life, we can see if their microbiome changes and, or do they already have something that's unique about their microbiome that, are, that predisposes them to be elite athletes later in their life.